For cheap and safe FIFA coins, go check the link in the description and use Crossy for a cool discount. And if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid PSN and Xbox cards, Gitway is also down below. How's it going guys? Welcome to another FIFA 16 tutorial. You've been pushing for a header tutorial and how to hit the ball in certain situations, so make sure to leave a like on the video for more cool tutorials. Today, I'm gonna be showing you particular examples on how to hit the ball properly while defending and while attacking. There are specific methods of hitting the ball which will increase your chance of winning the headers in one-on-one -on -one duels with the opposition. But before we get into that, make sure that you go to the gameplay settings menu and set air balls at the auto switching option. By using this option, the game will select the closest player to the ball by itself at crossing situations. It's an extremely useful option guys because you won't waste time on switching to the proper player and the game will do it for you. So let's start off with the attacking headers. I believe that all of you know that you can score headers by using the shoot button. However, in order to increase your chance of winning the header, you have to tap the button a few times in a row instead of pressing it once. Look at the following situation guys. I deliver a cross inside a penalty box and thanks to the air ball option, I see who will be the receiver of the pass in advance. So. All I do is start tapping the shoot button until I hit the ball. Also, I use the left analog to aim at the goal. This technique will increase your chance of winning the air battles and help you guys win some impossible headers. However, if your player is left alone in the penalty box at crossing situations and he has no opponents around him, you don't need to tap the shoot button and you can just press it once. Power it up to about 2 bars and use the left analog to aim at the goal. Keep in mind that using tall and big players with greater jumping will additionally increase your chance of winning attacking headers. Well guys, now I wanna show you a very common situation in which the opposing goalkeeper saves the ball and afterwards he throws it towards his players up front. If the goalkeeper doesn't have a long thrower trade, you can easily intercept the pass and build a quick counter attack. You need to use the normal short pass button to hit the ball and pass it to your teammates. If you use the shoot button, the player will randomly hit it up front, so you will lose your chance of catching him on the counter attack. If your opponent kicks the ball towards his strikers in front positions, you can use the short pass button to win the header and send it towards your teammates behind you. It's a very efficient way of winning headers which works perfectly. All you need to do when the ball flies to you is press the short pass button once and use the left analog to aim at your teammates at the back. By using this technique, you will win the air battle and besides that, you will win the possession of the ball. The same technique works pretty well when you kick the ball up front with your goalkeeper and it flies towards your strikers. All you have to do is press the short pass button for a while and aim at the teammates in front of you. This method works almost every time and is the best way of winning the header. So guys, it's time to find out how can you defend crosses inside your own penalty box, especially at corner kicks. There are two methods of defending crosses. The first one is by tapping the shoot button as many times as possible until you hit the ball. However, by using this technique, the player will clear the ball randomly as you can see in this example. The second method of defending headers is by using the cross button. All you have to do is hold the cross button and power it up to about 2-3 bars. Besides that, you can use the left analog to choose an exit direction. These are the best two methods of defending crosses inside a penalty box and either way works well depending on the situation. So guys, this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 16 tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like for more cool tips and tricks on the channel. If you have any questions, drop them below, follow me on Twitter if you wanna stay updated on what's going on with FIFA 16. My name is Krasi, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye!